Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kind Seed. Cough. Am feeling very rough. Got the greens. Need a good herb or some concoction. Alright. I am. So, here's the thing. I already recorded this last night, but when I was near the end of my recording, my freaking recording software got corrupted. Or, well, the recording got corrupted because my computer decided that it was time to restart. So... I'm doing this again, but I don't mind, because I like this game. And I didn't really get a lot done anyway, because I was running around like an insane person. Let's feed the piggy. Yay! And... Oh, yes! Gassy apple. It's always a good day when you get a gassy apple. Alright, uh, what do we got here? What is a was it? Just what is it? By Amos E. Wall. Some fake creatures go against the grain of secrecy and sometimes show themselves in times of need. The brownie have been known to sometimes make itself known, as do the gillywhittle and the thatter way and the fnarf narf nar, which I bet some of you struggled to say. However, the most common of these little creatures is the what is it? Though, when a person is new to an area, they, then they may see these sparkling little entities fluttering around points of interest. If something is of use, then the what is it will draw attention to it. The what is it how will, however, not go away unless the object has been interacted with. It is as though the creature is insisting that it has your full attention. Once satisfied, the what is it will fly away happy. Well, as happy as a floating, blinking, glowing, flappy eye can be. Oh, yes. Take that. Yes. Alright, so we have a few different quests we can try and get done today. The m most important of which is I want to get done what I got done last time. Ooh. Monument Stone. I wonder if we can get a tonic for our dad, or does he just gotta be sick? Because I don't know. Oh yeah, water the plants. Water? Water one crop. Well, I'm watering all of them. There we go. Now. Let's see what we can find in the great outdoors. With our strawberry. We gotta find Mother Hubbard and give her the milk. If we go this way... Oh! Laws of the Land of Quill, Part 1, by Judy Judge. Our laws are the laws of nature, which is why the most natural thing in the world for us to follow them. Still, we must answer to the goddesses in the end, and it is their enlightenment and guidance which keeps us from straying from the path and into darkness. While these laws are ingrained in our hearts and minds, here is a reminder for anyone who's recently banged their head and forgotten, or for any visitor from a distant land. Above all else, there shall be no murder. Aquilin's property is their own, and none shall take it without permission. The bounties of nature are finite, so a family may have no more than three children. Exceptions may be made for those living in issue. It goes without saying, but always show respect for the goddesses. To avoid any messy accidents, all babies must be delivered by stork. To the right day to make an offering is on your goddess day. All dark creatures of Quill must keep to their shadows. For your own good, you must never build in the darker corners of the world. None shall marry below the age of 18, and don't you try it in a lope. Okay. Oh, who's that? Working. Hey. Hey. Introduce Herbert Lemon. No, 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 you shall not go, no, no, indeed. Your father told me to watch you and watch you shall, Herbert. No, leaving the veil till father says so. Okay. Oh, you want a favor? This didn't happen last time. The Lord follow the items to Lucy Arrows. Okay, well, I do have a tomato this time. So I can actually do that after I steal your chicken eggs. These are mine now. Okay, yeah, so we can't go this way. Oh yeah, and this is the goddess statue. I think this is like one of the things- Okay, yeah, goddess statue discovered. 
Because now we can follow the what is it. Okay, that's locked. But if we go over here and go down... Hmm... Oh, are you the person I need to deliver to? Lucy Arrows, yes. Uh, you need a tomato. Thanks, just what I asked for. Later. Oh, another place to cook. Um... Uh, start cooking. Left mouse button to add to pot, right mouse button to stir. Oh! Did I make it? Yay! What musical fruit do you nice? Oh, I'm real on this book. The Four Shrines by Arthur Sixpence. Throughout Quill, there are four shrines. The end. Oh, you want more? Well, each shrine is dedicated to one of the four seasons. More? What do you think I am, an author? So, we have the Spring sh Shrine, the Summer Shrine, the Autumn Shrine, and the Winter Shrine. Each shrine only opens in its corresponding season. Oh, you have to be joking. More writing is required. I'm not made of quills. Within the hallowed walls are said to be six pillars, each representing our beloved goddesses. Drida, Nida, Morvena, Hylas, Aurora, and Frail. It is also said that each pillar hosts a challenge laid down by the goddesses for some unknown purpose. The champion of these challenges would be sure to gain a great reward, though not many have the skill to try, and most people are just lazy, probably. Can I go nap now? Huh. Most people are just lazy, but not him, right? Whoa. Look at me. I'm floating. Can I catch this? Come on. Oh! It worked! Care to walk in darkest night? Carrots make the shadows bright. I caught it with my handy dandy fishing rod okay um do we have a map for this area we do not so we're missing one it's got to be around here somewhere right hmm what else do we have here oh there it is yes Alright, what else did we need? What are our tasks? Cure father's illness. Father has a case of the greens. Not an actual case hidden under his bed. Find him a cure. Either natural or expensively procured from somewhere like, you know, the apothecary. Um... I can try? Where's the apothecary? Is it down here? Maybe? Do you have medicine for my father? Glass jar, Drita statue, candy hair, candied squirrel, rose of romance, slingshot, uh, flower, spade, ball. Okay, no. Gotta be here somewhere. Okay, we don't have a map of this area either. What is that? Wait a diddly darn minute, what is that? This box is property of spiced apple. Oh. Two, nine, nine. Failed to unlock. Code is now scrambled to uncover again. Oh, so it changes every time? I'll come back. The Ballad of Board. What? I'm trying to read the Ballad of Bored Bob. The, the Ballad of Bored Bob by S.T. Diebel. There was a chicken farmer called Bob who had a huge lump on his head. So he went to the docks and discovered his cocks had a virus which they had spread. The doctor told him to cure. He must bathe his cocks in manure. Then mend his sore head with reed root and bread. Then chop off the lump to be sure. After three weeks, the lump did return, and Bob gave a terrible and gave Bob a terrible burn. So the docks did he walk, and after a talk, had his sore bits covered in fern. The lump it did fade well away, but came back the very next day. So Bob and his ire set a large fire and burned his cocks in the hay. 
The goddess smiled with approval and blessed Bob with lump removal. The curse has been lifted, the virus has shifted. Now his wife has it. Oh no. So is this where we can- oh, I want him- my dad is sick! I need to cure him. I think there's a- ooh, another developer's note? Creator's note 7. Owning the kind seed will reveal the fae for what they are. You can see some of these after the prologue. Oh, okay. Ooh, there it is. One more to find. I will find it. We got another goddess statue. Spiced apple. Hmm. Anything cool in here? Nah, boring. Oh, I can't take it. That's not fair. They're not letting me rob. Ooh, mushroom. Oh. I will snatch one day. Ooh, this is a tiny house. Ooh. Cough Up the Dough, a guide to good baking by Tom Bakery. There are two types of cooking in Quill, using a stove to create stews and soups, and using a kiln to make pies, breads, and cakes. We are only interested in baking in this book, so find a good kiln and open up your recipe book. Choose the ingredients you want to place them onto a paddle, then move the paddle to, to the right. Push the paddle forward into the kiln and watch the gauge. When the bar hits the sweet spot, literally, then pull down to remove the paddle and reveal your baked delight. Either it will be as stout as an oak with, with lovely crust and hot filling, or it will be withered, like my pride after Melody Baps rejected my proposal. We could have made such sweet breads together. I will never get to cut her cakes. I will have to become a master baker in order to forget her. There's another book in here. I'm gonna steal everyone's books. The that -way Guide, literally, by Amos E. Wall. As mentioned in my other book, what is the what is it, just what is it, I mentioned the that -way. This fairy is incredibly helpful and incredibly sparkly. They are drawn to certain humans they find attractive and attach themselves to them. When that person is lost or seeking something, the that -way will fly out of their host's hair and in the direction they need be. An ancient tomb, the Manual of Play, mentions their usage thus. To make use of this feature, the player must set a task as active in their task list, then click the left stick on their control pad or the F1 key on their cupboard. I've yet to understand any of that, but it does sometimes make me wonder if we are being controlled by a force higher even than our beloved goddesses. No, Amos E. Wall, you're- no, 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 no. Well, let's put that to the test. We want to deliver milk. Oh, we need a sickle. Uh, and we need to... Okay, let's set is active. Um, oh yeah, have I not talked to you? Oh, I've not talked to two people in here. Are you Mother Hubbard? Oh, sorry. I, I do that sometimes. Oh, sorry. Edna Teapot. Hello, you look sprightly. I was once a kid in my youth. You will have to speak up. My ears aren't the same since I had them waxed. Oh, God. I'm a bit down. Oh, gossip. Oh. No one wants to gossip with me. Hello. Teresa Green. Drita watches you. Make your offerings or darkness be upon you. How are you? I am hungry, but it's not your business. Okay. Rude. Alright, so Mother Hubbard's not here. I'm looking for the that away. Hello? Can I get a sickle? Hello there, a sickle, eh? Bring me ore and I will happily teach you to, to make a sickle. There's Crumble Chalk Mine and our own little cave behind our house, but I stopped going in there since I heard knockers. Here's the key if you're brave enough. It's northwest of the smithy in this very region. Knockers? The greens, eh? Oh, we could mix you up with just the thing, but we've run out of cuckadoo. It's a plant that mainly grows in cocoa wood north of the village. The proverb says, cuckadoo can be found by old stumps on muddy ground. I've got... Flagfish lets you see enemy life, but makes you sleep like a bored housewife. Okay. Hang on, I already have cuckadoo. I got it last time. Oh. 
Yay! Completed task! Alright, bye! He called it acceptable. Have I still not met you? Excellent work! We will mix up just the thing, and because you did most of the footwork, this one is on the house. Not literally. Don't want you climbing on the roof. Candle Witch Green! Nice! Now we can go heal father. Later. I want to find the last map part. Oop, there's something in there. Proverb, bluefish are of a humble sort. On misty days, they can be caught. Okay. Ooh, a three-star dandelion. Oh. Grah, papa. You feel great, you're sick. Wait, hang on. Here. I have... Candle Witch Green. There you go! See, I'm better than my brother. <laughs> oh! Do we have to pick up the poop? Uh, probably. Hang on. Let's get that. Oh, gross. What do we do with this? Do I offer it to the goddess? Probably a bad idea. Oh, hang on, let me catch this last fish and then I'll go to bed. Silver scale. Alright, let's go. Then in the morning we can try and go mining. Oh, what is... what's up? What's this? Oh, is this for storage? Pear, pear, apple, apple, pear, apple, egg that I stole, cabbage, blueberry, jam, tomato. There we go. Did that work? Oh, it did. Alright, good night, Dad. Go to sleep. Weather's expected to be mostly windy with a 10% chance of rain. Three black, three brass. Okay, nice. Oh, are these done? Oh, they're done. Nice. Water you. Nice. We do not put down your do not put down your pants, chaps. Okay. Nice. Hmm. Oh, okay. Candlewitch Village. Active task. My active task is over there. Okay. So where am I? Okay, so I need to go. Left, left, down. Oh, I can't go that way. Okay, let's travel to Candlewitch Village. Alright, and then we can just go straight for it. Oh, there's a proverb over here. Grave lilac scares the living dead and puts visions in your head. Why am I delivering it to people then? Not that I have any to deliver, because I don't know where to get it. I've just been picking dandelions. Alright, so we gotta go this way to Mother Hubbard. I don't think I've ever been this way. Okay, Candle Witch Vale. Okay, that door is locked. So now we go this way. Ooh, can I? Oh. Oh, what the? Ooh. Candlewitch Cottage. That's it. Oh, is that a grape lily? Nope, that's a cuckoo. Alright, 
Or is it up here? Mother Hubbard! Come out of your cupboard. I have something for you. Oh! Checkered cub. Checkered chub. Stay away from those bright summer days. Okay. So, can't get them in the summer. Or can I? I'm breaking in. Hi, Mother Hubbard! I have your milk. Well, hello there! It's wonderful to meet you. I am old Mother Hubbard. You may have heard of me. I'm the master cook of Quill. Goddess blessed. There's nothing better than the smell of some baking in the kiln or the sound of simmering stew. You can beat an egg, but you can't beat my culinary creations. As a master, it is my lifelong duty to pass on my skills to those who wish to learn them. If you want to be able to turn a turnip into a tongue tingler, then bring me the ingredients. I request, and I will reward you with unique recipes that can offer all sorts of amazing benefits. For my first request, bring me a simple cabbage, and I will let you know the secret of a hearty filling stew. You will fart a lot, but at least you won't be hungry for a good while. Recipes are so much better than raw ingredients, you can feel much greater effects, and those effects last longer. So go get me a cabbage, and let's get cooking. Okay, but first... Wait, how do I give you the... There we go, Got the, gave you the milk. Thanks, I've been waiting for that. Alright, do I have a cabbage? I do! There we go. Well, look at that! That's a nice cabbage if I ever saw one! Here is your reward, as promised. It's a simpleton stew. It is so easy, even a simpleton can make it. When cooking it, look at it, the traits of each ingredient has, if you know them. It is also very important to work out the timings and try and get everything to cook at the same time. There's a E except around somewhere that will give you more tips. Don't forget to check the skill screens to view my requests. One day you might become a master too. And we may need to have a cook-off, wink. That'd actually be pretty cool. Whoa, simpleton stew. Milk, carrot, cabbage. Simpleton, okay, what's, oh, okay. Okay, nice. I like your dog. Can I pet your dog? Oh, I wanted to pet the dog. Okay. Oh, there's a book over here. The Veil Gardener's Friend by Marsh Tit, the Master Gardener. I've got green fingers. No, I have not been picking my nose, but in fact I have been poking my little rose in the garden shed. I just love the smell, the texture and the lovely pink petals of a fragrant carnation. It is sheer joy to create beautiful hanging gardens and tend to them with your tools. You simply can't beat tulips around the fountain, or a daisy ring. You could say, when it comes to rakes and hoes, I am a bit of a stalker. As the saying goes, Lily don't, but daffodil do. I have mastered gardening over the many years, so I have very polished tips for helping you grow and germinate. Wheat requires no watering. Once it is grown, get out your chopper and beat it down. Carrots, cabbage, and wheat have a three-day growth cycle. I can't, I can't think of anything rude for that. Apples, gooseberries, and pears have a two-day cycle. A bicycle, as it were. Not that I know what one of those is. Tomatoes have a three-day growth cycle, and so not need watering. Collect them from the trellis. Make sure they are nice and firm by giving them a good squeeze. Then check your tomatoes. Only carrots and cabbage need watering daily, so give them a good squirt and make them nice and wet. The use of fertilizer will really help create bigger, hardier plants. The dark creatures of the world have powerful minerals within their deposits, but gaining some of their droppings requires more than just a big spade. I hope these pearls can really help you get bigger and harder cucumbers, juicier melons, and erect climbers. So grab your towel, trowel and clear your mind of innuendos and get gardening, you dirty pucks. Aww. You wrote it. <laughs> can I... Oh, I can just steal her stuff. Oh, another goddess statue. Whoa. Oh, how do I get to it? Oh yeah, go around, duh. <laughs> okay, one more to find. I say we stay here and find it. After I catch this fish. Oh, it's raining. Rainfish! Insert some joke about halibut. <laughs> Perfect. It just started raining, too. I'm gonna steal all your stuff. I'm gonna steal all your stuff. I'm a menace. I cannot be stopped. Creators Note 17. The permission system lets you pick up other home's items. Check the monument stones by each house to view friendship levels. Oh, okay, so we can steal their stuff after we become their friends. Oh, but then it's not stealing and it's just, like, borrowing. That's not fun. A berry blue and very tasty in the lush vale where life ain't hasty. 
What is that? Oh, is that a fairy circle? Don't fall asleep in that. Mushroom! I'm a fun guy! Map. Yes! Ooh, let's see what else we could catch. You're fishy fishy! Dude, the music for this is seriously so good. Another proverb! Cabbage looks and tastes so dull, but it doesn't make you pull. Okay. <laughs> and what have we got over here? Rotten apples can you can get if your brownie is upset. Oh, that's the one of the Fae, right? So don't make them upset unless you you really want a brownie. Ooh, what's that? Plowman's cob. Oh, cool. We can find recipes now. Opal, City of Deities by Milky Wavy. Like the gemstone after which mortals named her, the city of Opal is iridescent, vibrant, and wondrous. At least that's what artists and storytellers have imagined when painting and describing this divine realm, hidden away from the eyes of mere humans. It is said there was a time when mortals were given the opportunity to enter the city's gates and live there, eternally, by the side of the goddesses. Those who wished to have their skill and reputation judged would stand before a mirror and state their case. Only three were ever found worthy. Three grandmasters whose mortal remains remain bound to Quill, though no one has ever found them. In any case, nobody has seen Mirror in a millennia, and most believe it to be nothing but a legend designed to induce people to better themselves. If the goddess did indeed ever allow mortals to join them in Opal, that no longer seems to be the case. I will join them in Opal. And I will be the cool kid. Time passes without fail in the lush and leafy vale. Ah. A child? Kick it! Millie Cow. Are you that orphan? Did your mom pa get rid of you? Were you dropped on your head by that stork? Too busy to talk to the likes of you? Go away! Okay. They're both not having a good day, it seems. Alright, let's go this way. Cuckoo Wood. Ooh. Is this maybe where the kitty cat is? Cause... I know she said she lost a kitty. Maybe I can adopt it. Drita hides her juicy goods when the snow comes after autumn's floods. Ooh, I bet winter's gonna be hard to gather stuff. Ooh, there it is. Boop! Three more to find, jeez! a big area. Okay. Ooh. Aw. Hmm. Where else can we find our little map parts? Ooh, I see a proverb. Time flies when you have when you have fun under every morning sun. Do do. Ooh. Coco. Yep. That tree has a face. It's probably not a good thing. What in the world? There's a little house! When clouds appear, are crying they appear, rainfish love their namesake deer. 
Okay, there's definitely something in that house. Okay, what else have we got in this pretty place? Primrose. Another goddess statue. Ooh, we should... Okay, let's remember that this is here. Because if it gets dark, we'll need to run back home. I just want to see if I can find any more map parts before it gets too late. Oh, there's one. Two more to find. Oh, what's that? <gasps> it's the kitty! Kitty! Here, let me pet you. And would you like a fish? No, come with me. Wait, where are you going? Follow me. Yes. Now we need to try and get it back home. Kitty cat. Gotta find your owner. Uh, I think she's in Candlewitch East. So if we go this way, we might be able to find her. Yes, Candlewitch Village. Uh, okay, where... Uh-oh. Kitty, I'm afraid we're gonna pass out. Because I can't find your owner, and it's getting very late. Okay, uh... No. No, we're gonna pass out. What about the kitty? I'm gonna have to find it again. Oh. No. Uh. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, oh, the kitty's still with us. Okay, so we'll return the kitty next time. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time.